<laughs> Somebody, please help me, please, before she eats me. You, eh, yes, you, here, over, over here. Please, you must help me. Oh, you, you, there you are. You must help me. Break the urn. Or else she'll have me for lunch. You're my only hope. Oh, please. Th thank you. I would have been a supper without you. Been eaten alive, I shudder to think. Thank you. Thank you dearly. I am Laurentius, or the Great Swamp. I will not forget my debt to you. Oh, hello there. I'm fine, thanks to you. I'm heading back to the undead asylum. Whoa! What are you doing? It is I, Laurentius. I've no bone to pick with you. Curse the efforts. Are you mad? I owe my life to you. This is wrong. You were my friend. Curses. Well, I see you made it out. Yeah, I, I made it out safely too. I have my pyromancy of the Great Swamp, so I can usually manage with a bit of care. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, I can share my spells with you. I think you have a knack for it, all you need are the materials. I'll be pleased to help you. Ah, and unless you find the magics unsavoury? Yeah, wonderful. I'm sure that you know, they'll be of some use, some assistance. Here, first take this. A flame from the Great Swamp. Now you're a fully fledged pyromancer. Why, let's get started right now. Oh really? Well, that's a shame. But it, uh, it's your choice. I'm on the fringe. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, undead or not, that's who I am. I only wish that, that, that I could have repaid you somehow. Oh, hello there. I'm pleased to see you safe. As always, if you provide the materials, I can teach you pyromancy. Oh, hello there. I'm pleased to see you safe. Oh, and uh, if by chance you've had a change of heart, I'll be pleased to assist you by sharing my spells. Oh, hello there. I'm pleased to see you safe. I've decided to rest here for a while. It's not as if we'll be dying any time soon. Goodbye then. Be safe, friend. Don't you dare go alone. Goodbye then. Come back if you find anything new. Wait, friend. Where, where are you off to? That was rather abrupt. You are an odd one. <laughs> uh. Ooh, what's wrong with you? Stop that, please. You detest my pyromancy. That must be it. Then I'll give you a taste of it. And it will not be pleasant, I assure you. Oh. Uh. Pyromancy is the art of casting fire. Produce flame, then channel it, just as our ancestors did. A pyromancer must be in tune with nature herself. My home, the Great Swamp, is an abundant store of nature. You will understand one day, it only takes time. Pyromancy has a, well, rather primitive aspect to it. It messes poorly with advanced culture, and pyromancers are considered rather unsavoury. Which is fine, as I never got along with anybody anyway. So, for me, turning undead didn't change a thing. <laughs> My teacher, whom I imagine still resides in the Great Swamp, had a funny way of putting it. He said that pyromancy is the ultimate fantasy. We are born into dark and warmed by fire, but this fire we cannot touch. Those whose fascination with fire persists learn to hold it in their own hand. He rather had a way with words, the old withering frog. In this land, pyromancers earn a certain respect. The Witch of Isolith, one of the legendary lords, is the godmother of pyromancy. So the day I became undead, I was ecstatic. I felt as if I'd been chosen to attune myself to the ancient arts. Of course, it wasn't all that romantic in the end. Oh, hello there. You've been a stranger these days. Why? What? What? What spectacular pyromancy? Tell me about it. I, I, I have never seen anything like it. Why, yes, of course. Thank you for sharing. I'm still an able pyromancer. I shall locate her myself. I'm in your debt once again. I see. I suppose I was mistaken. In any case, I definitely trust you. Apologies, my friend. Forget that I said anything. A pyromancer's flame is is a part of his own body. The flame develops right along with this skill. Oh, sorry. You're a pyromancer yourself. You, you already know this. When I gave you that flame, I gave you a part of myself. Please take good care of it. 